Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about the fragrances that I've been reaching for the most since I got home from Canada. I have some affordable scents and some designer and also some niche scents. So all price ranges here. I'll start off with the affordable scents. And as you can see, we have a perfume here from the House of Lalique, and it's called Amethyst. First, I want to say that I absolutely adore this bottle design. It's very simple, and you can see that it has some nice details in the front here. Um, so yeah, I picked this one up for about 30 euros at my local TK Maxx. I haven't had it for very long but there is quite a big dent in this one. The reason why is because this one is very easy to wear. It is basically a fruity berry scent. It is not jammy though. It is very transparent and watery. And if you can just imagine some fruit juices of grapes and blueberries and blackberries and blackcurrant, and I think there's also strawberry in here as well. So just a big uh, bunch of juiced berries. That's basically what this one smells like. I also spray this on my bed sheets because it just gives off a very nice, soft, fruity, transparent scent that is very versatile, easy to wear, affordable. And then we have this gorgeous, heavy glass bottle that um, just looks very classy and elegant just sitting in my collection. So that's Amethyst from the House of Lalique. The next one here is from the House of Zara. And unfortunately, this one is discontinued. I haven't worn this one a lot this past year, but when I got back home, to the Netherlands, I was craving the scent. It's a mochi atelier in Tokyo. And basically this one smells like a very clean, crisp pear mochi, which is a squishy Japanese dessert with um, some powder on it. But it's a delicious, desserty scent that again, is very, very easy to wear and I did put quite a big dent on this one. Um, yeah, it's discontinued, but I still really love it. And it's just fantastic. And I think I only paid maybe 16 euros for this one. Hopefully they bring it back. I would definitely buy a backup one of this one. So the next one here is from the house of Swiss Arabian and it's called Casablanca. This one reminds me a lot of apple juice. And I'm not even sure if apple is in the notes, but whenever I wear this, it feels like I have spilled some apple juice on me. It's a very fresh, um, sparkling apple juice. It has a nice sweetness to it and a nice tanginess to it as well. And it's also quite tart. I think there's caramel in here as well, if I remember right, but it's a very sweet, apple juicy kind of scent and it's absolutely gorgeous uh, it performs very well it used to be a cheapy i think they raise the price on this one unfortunately but i still think it's worth it it's just delicious the sillage on this one is great as well and um very very nice scent from the house of swiss arabian Next up, we have a scent that uh, I guess technically it's not a cheapy, but have seen this one at my local drugstore um, for very cheap, but I think it's slowly disappearing. It might be, dis be discontinued. I'm not 100% sure, but this one is Alien O Extraordinaire from the house of Mugler. This one is my second bottle. I finished my first bottle of this one. Um, very quickly when I first got it. So now I just um, started using this one. And um, this one here is my favorite flanker of Alien. It is basically a brighter, fresher, more sparkling version of the original. They took out that heavy, heavy, um, dark feeling that we get in the original. And they added a lot of nice sparkling notes, some citrus, there's some tea in here as well, and it's just a fantastic scent for every day. 
that isn't too heavy, uh, great for all occasions, and it just smells wonderful. So this one is Alien Eau Extraordinaire from the House of Mugler. So let's move on to some designer scents. This one here is one that I only have a travel size of, um, but it's from the house of YSL. So with the intense version, I think this is my favorite of the collection. The Le Parfum one though is really, really good as well, but this one just has a little bit more oomph to it. It's a very intense orange blossom, uh, vanilla, kind of animalic scent, um, also lavender. I think it's unisex. I think men can absolutely pull this one off as well. Uh, but yeah, it's such a sexy scent that is so bold and intense. Uh, performance on this one is also really good as well. So after I finish this little travel size, I would probably uh, get a bottle of it because I think the bottle designs of this collection are beautiful. Coming up, we have a scent from the house of Chanel, and this is Chanel Chant's Eau Fresh. And this one I haven't had for very long, but when I was away, I was craving this scent a lot. Um, it's basically a nice a citrusy, musky scent um, with a little bit of green in it. When I've worn this lately, I was actually reminded of CK1 a little. Every time I sprayed it on, I was like, hmm. That kind of reminds me of CK1 and um, I didn't have that before so I'm not sure if my nose is changing or I'm just picking up different notes but CK1 has a nice clean musky citrusy uh, feeling to it and I definitely get that same feeling in this one here although they're definitely not the same they just kind of remind me of each other now so this one is Chanel Chant's Eau Fresh. Okay, so now let's move on to some niche perfumes. I want to talk about this one here. This one is very new in my collection. I actually own the old version, you know, the one with the, um, the round ball, uh, but this is the new bottle design of it. And it's, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess, but we can just call it princess from the house of Killian. This one is very, very popular in Fragcom and um, I absolutely love this scent. It is basically a squishy, sweet vanilla marshmallow perfume. There's also some green tea in here and I believe there's also some ginger. So it's not just your typical literal marshmallow. There's some other things going on with the spiciness. Uh, it's a bit milky too and a little bit powdery and it's just such a fantastic, unique scent that is mouth-watering and so so pleasant and I absolutely love uh, the sillage that I get with this one. It smells really really nice and um, it just kind of is a comforting scent for me. So that's Princess from Killian. The next scent here is actually a discontinued perfume. I have been craving this one a lot when I was away. And this is a Tonka scent, Amanda Tonka, from the house of Ellie Saab. It has a nice little engraved um, logo there. And this is one of my all-time favorite Tonka perfumes. Um, Tonka is a note that is probably one of my most favorite notes of all time and this one here is so so beautiful it is basically obviously uh, a nutty almond and a tonka scent um, it's not too sweet there's also this mysterious dark feeling to it and it just gives off a sexy not too strong a sweet almond and tonka scent uh, with some nice uh, dark woods in here and i'm not sure if I already said but I also get a nice smokiness out of here but it's not too smoky uh, it's just a subtle sweet uh, smoky scent I adore this one so so much and I'm disappointed that it is discontinued all right so next up we have a scent from Tom Ford I just have um, a travel size of it here this is Tom Ford bitter peach Love the little uh, travel vial here, Atomizer. It's magnetic. <laughs> so this one is Bitter Peach, and this one basically to me 
is uh, a juicy peach, but it also has a very uh, earthy patchouli scent to it as well. So it is quite dark and heavy and strong, um, but I just love that juicy, super juicy peach note in here that is kind of dirty, like a dirty peach, uh, but it's so mouthwatering and so realistic. And I just love this one, especially when it's starting to get colder outside, which it is now where I am. So yeah, Tom Ford, Bitter Peach, uh, kind of an underdog, I think, in the collection. It doesn't really get the attention I think that it deserves. I think Lost Cherry gets uh, most of the attention when it comes to um, their fruity scents. Uh, but yeah, Tom Ford, Bitter peach um, one of my favorites from the entire house and next up here I only have a small little decant of it here but I have been in love with the scent you guys for the past uh, month or so this one is called Blanche Bette from the Queen Imaginaires I have talked about the scent. Um, the video was called It's a Love at First Sniff. It was one of my most uh, favorite discoveries, niche discoveries of the year. And um, this is a 10 mil decant that I was able to find. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this one lately, just before bed, one spray. And then I get this gorgeous, soft, milky, powdery white chocolate scent. Um, kind of coconutty as well without being that tropical. Uh, it is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. It is so cozy and comforting and warm and it makes me feel relaxed. And um, yeah, maybe after I finish this little uh, decant, I might have to get a bottle of it because I am loving the scent so much. So this one is Blanche Bette from the House of Liquid Imaginaires. And last but not least, I have a scent here from the House of Profumum Roma. This one is called Soriso. And this one, well, the reason why I've been craving this is because I've been craving some chocolate and perfume. This is a chocolatey perfume and it kind of makes me think of a chocolate liqueur. It is a very, very strong. The sillage on this one is beast mode. It performs amazingly. And it's just a sweet, delicious chocolate liqueur scent. Um, different types of chocolate, some dark, some milk, some white as well. Um, kind of underrated, I think, in the community, but I absolutely adore this. I'm gonna have a sweet tooth for chocolate. So that's Ceriso from Perfume Aroma. And that was the last one here for today. Uh, if you've tried any of these scents, I would love to hear your opinions on them. Also, maybe you can let me know which perfumes you have been wearing lately. I would love to hear about that. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.